welcome to this Introduction to Robotics video series. In today's video, we'll talk about the basic parts that make up an electrical circuit and see what each part looks like in a starter electronics kit. So first, what is a circuit? A circuit is a complete closed loop through which electri electricity flows. We'll compare this to a group of good friends who stay connected and the love between them flows. A circuit is made up of a few different parts. The first is conductive material, like metal. This conductive material allows a pathway for the electricity to flow through. We can imagine the conductive material like the communication between the group of friends. As long as they're communicating with each other, then the love will flow. So, in our kits, we'll see that your different electrical components will have metal prongs on either side. So there's an example of an LED, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Here's an example of a resistor, which you'll see the metal. Uh, and we'll also see the metal within our jumper wire. So there'll be two types of jumper wire in your kit. Uh, this one that you see here, we like to call pen to pen, where you'll see the uh, metal prongs sticking out on both ends of the wire. And then you'll also likely have uh, what we like to call pen to cap jumper wires, where you'll see the metal prong on one end, but not the other. So both types of jumper wire have that metal wire or that conductive material um, inside of it. Inside the metal are millions of atoms, each with negatively charged particles called electrons. And when these electrons start to move and flow, then we have something called electrical current, also known as electricity. In order to get those electrons to flow, we need a power source, like a battery. We can imagine the battery like that friend in the group who brings the energy and gets that love flowing between everyone else. Our battery, as you may know, has two sides to it, a negative side and a positive side. Inside this battery, we have something called stored potential energy. And once it's connected to a circuit, uh, using jumper wires and other electrical components, uh, the electrons use that stored energy to flow out of the negative side of the battery and back towards the positive side of the battery. So once we have electricity flowing through our circuit, we usually want to do something with it. And that's where a load comes into play. An example of a load is an LED, also known as a light emitting diode. We can imagine this LED like the friend in the group who not only likes to share their love amongst their group of friends, but also out to the rest of the world. So you'll notice that your LED has two metal legs or prongs sticking out of it, and one leg is shorter and the other one is longer. An LED only allows electrical current to flow through it in one direction. And so uh, something to remember is the short leg of the LED is the negative side and the long leg of the LED is the positive side. That means that you want to make sure you connect the shorter leg of the LED back to the negative side of the battery or the circuit and the long leg of the LED should always connect back to the positive side of your battery or the power of your circuit. Finally, to make sure the electrical current isn't flowing too fast in your circuit, which could damage electrical components like your LED, we need to add a resistor to our circuit. So the resistor is like that friend in the group who just keeps, keeps the others in check to make sure that the love isn't too overbearing amongst everyone. So you'll see here that the resistor has a different patterns on it. Each resistor will have a different pattern on it and they'll usually be in a, a little package like this. And the different color bands tell you how much resistance that resistor has. So inside the resistor we have um, semiconductive material. So that will just slow the electrons down. Another thing to note is that your resistor does not have a positive and negative side like your battery or the LED. Um, so it doesn't matter which way you orient this in your circuit. So just like a group of friends who stays connected with each other, a circuit is a closed loop of wire that connects a load, a power source, and a resistor together. 
This image shows a diagram of a circuit where the black line is the wire that's connecting all of the different components together. You can imagine the electrons moving from the negative side of the battery towards the positive side. Let's lay out the circuit you see in the diagram in front of us using our kit materials. So if you don't have like a battery connector or you know tape or an, an extra pair of hands to help you, it's a little tricky to keep our circuit uh, all connected. And that's where a breadboard comes into play. So join us for our next video where we'll use a breadboard to more easily put together this circuit and make our LED turn on. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.